Hi, my name is Brian Wood. I am a first year graduate student in spatial information science and engineering. And what I wanted to talk about briefly today was the wonderful new opportunity to pursue these courses via distance learning. Now, I have a degree in economics here from the university and I also went on and earned my MBA at Boston College. So I do have some experience with traditional classroom learning and I think it's definitely a great way to go for a full-time student. However, now that I'm out working full-time, I find that it's not quite so easy to do it that way any longer, but having uh, been in, put in the position of being able to pursue these courses due to a genuine interest in the subject matter, I find that I'm able to continue working full-time and also attend these classes uh, efficiently without ever even leaving my office during the workday. Um, as far as my professional development goes, I started these courses in preparation for a job that doesn't necessarily yet exist at the company I work for, but probably will over the next couple of years. And what I mean by that is that there have definitely been a number of uh, advances in technology over the past several years. We do have what are called virtual teams. I'm based out of Belfast, Maine, but my manager is actually in Cleveland. We have teammates in uh, Delaware and Arizona, scattered around the country really as far flung as Hawaii. And, uh, you know, we even have the option to work from home if we like, anywhere that there's an internet connection and a phone, really. And what I would definitely say is that regardless of where you work, the effective uh, management of information is definitely nothing less than mission critical uh, in terms of code writing and analyzing the vast amounts of data that come in every day. Having said that, I would definitely concede that as far as distance learning goes, it's not the same as being in the classroom. The books discussion class that I'm taking, for example, would definitely lose a lot if we tried to do it remotely rather than face-to-face. -face. Distance learning certainly requires a considerable amount of discipline on the part of the student who is pursuing it. However, I think self-directed learners can definitely thrive in that environment. The Java programming class I'm taking, for example, is an ideal example of a class that can be taken online. I can follow the slides, listen to the professor as she interacts with the other students, uh, take my own notes and follow along with the book, all, again, without ever leaving my office in the middle of the day, so minimal disruption. So it's a great way to uh, pursue a certificate or a degree as a non-traditional student, a non-full-time student. Minimal travel is involved. You can do it at work, at home, and whether you're supplementing your professional development or just indulging a personal interest, again, it's certainly a uh, very much less stressful way to earn a certificate or a degree. So if anybody was thinking about giving it a try, I would definitely encourage somebody to uh, give it a shot.